Welcome to the Emory Sports Update. I'm your host, Morgan Domasi. Emory Men's Soccer registered a huge win on the road Saturday, defeating number one ranked and undefeated Chicago by 3-0 margin. Junior Mustafa Katab got Emory on the board in the 15th minute with his fourth tally of the year, while classmate Tyler Walsh doubled the Eagles' lead later in the half with his first career goal. Senior Christian Meyer closed out the contest scoring early in the second half with his second marker of the season. Freshman Cole Gallagher picked up the winning goal, knocking away four maroon attempts en route to his fourth shutout of the year. The Eagles, winners of seven straight and owners of a 9-2 overall record, host NYU on Friday and Brandeis on Sunday. The golf team enjoyed a strong performance at the Royal Lakes Oglethorpe Fall Invitational, coming in runner-up out of 18 teams. The Eagles posted a 36-hole score out of 583, just four shots off the pace from first-place finisher Greensboro College. Sophomore Sam Galloway earned all tournament honors after tying for third place in the 102 player field. The Nina Wisconsin native fired a four under par 140, tied for fourth place all time at Emory for a two round score. Emory returns to action October 15th through the 17th when it competes at the Golf Week D3 Invitational in Sandestin, Florida. The women's soccer team split a pair of games this past week, winning at home against Huntington College before coming up short on the road at number one Chicago. The Eagles used second-half goals by junior Nikki Batt and freshman Samantha Hilsey in registering a 2-0 triumph over the Hawks of Huntington, outshooting the visitors by a 20-2 margin. On Saturday, the Maroons kept the Emory offense in check, holding the Eagles to five shot attempts en route to a 4-0 outcome. Next up for Emory is a home weekend of UAA play, starting Friday evening against NYU, followed by a Sunday bout against Brandeis. The number four Emory volleyball team swept three South Region opponents, raising its season record to 17-2. The Eagles started out by bouncing both Oglethorpe and Agnes Scott on Thursday, with the win over Oglethorpe representing head coach Jenny McDowell's 700th career win. Emory then rolled to a victory over Maryville the following evening. The Eagles' defense limited their opposition to a combined .045 hitting percentage while registering a .313 attack percentage. Freshman Maggie Rimmel saw action in eight of the team's nine sets and averaged 1.67 kills and 0.62 blocks per game, while freshman Jessica Schwanke averaged 1.71 kills to go along with a 310 hitting effort. After a Tuesday match at Barry College, Emory travels to Chicago for this Saturday and Sunday's UAA Round Robin 2. Senior Bridget Harding and freshman Isabel Gonzalez Rico highlighted the Emory women's tennis team's effort at the Mercer Gridiron Classic in Macon. The pair each won four matches in advancing to the championship round of singles, with Harding's weekend performance giving her 90 career wins, the third highest mark in program history. Both Harding and Gonzalez Rico will compete at this week's ITA Oracle Cup in Rome, Georgia. That's it for this week's Emory Sports Update. And remember, to get the latest on Emory Athletics, go to www.emoryathletics.com. Thanks for watching.